Okay, in this lesson we're just going to continue uh, looking at optimization problems and creating models of inequalities and solution regions. Uh, I just find that's from practice. Uh, you'll start understanding and kind of grasping what we're looking at here as far as solution regions, etc. Uh, in the previous example, what we looked at was uh, model cars that were being made, SUVs and race cars. In this one, we're looking at possible combinations of oil and gas that can be produced, uh, which in some cases is something that we do. Uh, at least, so, so here's our problem. A refinery produces oil and gas. Here's a constraint. At least two liters of gasoline is produced for each liter of heating oil. So <clears throat> if I wanted to come up with that constraint at the moment, what I could do is I've already defined the variables. I'm going to let G be the millions of liters of gasoline and H be the million liters of heating oil. So if I wanted to represent this as a constraint, at least two liters of gasoline for each liter of heating oil, that would be that gasoline is always at least, which means greater than or equal to, <clears throat> two times the heating oil. So it's always more than or equal to twice the heating oil because it's at least two liters of gasoline is produced for each liter of heating oil. So there it is. Um, we might as well really quickly look at how, not even quickly, we might as well look at how we'd graph that inequality right away. So your boundary, whether you understood what I did uh, or what, what this inequality represents, your boundary would be where <clears throat> the gas is exactly twice the heating oil. Okay? Because it says at least two liters. So we took that out. So it said two liters of gasoline for every liter of heating oil. Where where do we have two liters of gasoline for each liter of heating oil? So here's an example of a point right here. This is two liters of gasoline for a liter of heating oil. Okay, this is by the millions, so two liters for one liter. Uh, here's another point. This is two liters of gasoline. Uh, for each liter of heating oil, or if I wanted to use the equation, if I put in G equals zero, I'd have zero equals 2H, and that would give me a boundary point of H being zero, which is this point here, and if I put in H equals zero, I get G is equal to two times zero, which is also zero, so we wouldn't have that boundary line yet if I, if I was doing it this way, so I'd choose some other point, maybe h equals 1. So if I put h equals 1 into here, I would have g is equal to <clears throat> 2 times 1, which is g is equal to 2. So when h equals 1, g equals 2. That would be this point highlighted in yellow right there. So regardless of the way we do it, uh, whether we get it from the constraint that I've defined here, or from just taking out the language of at least. So if we had two liters of gasoline for each liter of heating oil, and we came up with two points. So two liters of gasoline for each liter of heating oil. This boundary line represents exactly that. Two liters of gasoline for each liter of heating oil. Now, you could use the, to come up with what, which side to shade, you could use the, uh, the equation or the inequality here or just kind of think about it. So at least two liters of gasoline. So which side is at least two liters of gasoline for each liter of heating oil? Let me just check the point one one, for example. So I'm testing this point. Is one liter of gasoline and one liter of heating oil uh, at least two liters of gasoline for each liter of heating oil? The answer is no. Or in other words, if I test, I'm just showing you two ways. You could test one one and ask yourself, is one greater than or equal to two times one? And the answer to that is, no. So that means that the opposite side of that boundary line is going to be shaded. So this side of the boundary line that I'm shading right now represents at least two liters of gasoline for each liter of heating oil. So there we go. Okay. Uh, we're not done this problem. I'm just kind of creating it as we go. In some cases, you may want to read the entire problem and kind of sort it out as you go as well. So it's, there's many approaches to doing this. <clears throat> All right, that's not the only constraint laid upon us here. Uh, the next one I've highlighted in blue for you says the refinery can produce up to 9 million liters of heating oil. So what would that look like? Up to 9 million liters of heating oil. Well, that means that heating oil has to be less than or equal to, so up to uh, 9, because 9 million, I'm putting this in millions. Each of these is in millions of liters. So your boundary... would be where the heating oil is exactly 9 million. So heating oil being 9 million, 
you could ask yourself, where is the heating oil 9 million? Here's a point. Here's another point. Here's another point. There's all sorts of points. So the boundary H is equal to 9 is a horizontal line through heating oil being 9. And which side of that line would represent up to 9 million liters of heating oil? Or in other words, less than or equal to 9 million. So this side below it would be exactly that. So if I shade... <clears throat> Below that, what you're going to see is this green overlapping region that I have right now. That is your solution region according to the two constraints. So what that green area represents is where gas is at least two times of what the heating oil is. And it also represents heating oil being less than or equal to 9 million <clears throat> liters. So those are all combinations that would represent uh, those two sets of constraints. Uh, next. It also says here, six and 6 million liters of gasoline each day, so up to 6 million liters of gasoline. So if I wanted to represent that, that would be gasoline has to be less than or equal to 6 million. So your boundary, if you come up with any two points on your boundary where gasoline is exactly 6 million, uh, I can show you where that is. Here's where gas is 6 million. Here's another 6 million. Your boundary line is right here. And if it says up to, that would be anywhere less than 6 million. So uh, according to that boundary line, this is what I'm shading in at the moment. All right. So the solution region for all three of these constraints would be... Uh, inside the green shaded area, because blue and yellow make green, and where the green slanted lines all overlap. So that would be <clears throat> anywhere in here at the moment. Okay? Uh, but what's going to happen is we'll notice, so the question here says, um, <clears throat> actually, let's just, first of all, just uh, clarify what that actually means. We can't have any negative amounts of heating oil or gasoline produced, so we can cross out all three of these quadrants. So the only area that's green and shaded with and has slanted green lines in it would be this region here. So here is your solution region. It's in this triangle here. So what that triangle represents at the moment is where gas is at least twice as much as heating oil, where gas is less than 6 million, less than or equal to 6 million liters, and heating oil is less than or equal to 9 million liters. So that is our solution region at this point. <clears throat> Moving ahead in this question, it says gasoline is projected to sell for $1.10 per liter, not a constraint, has nothing to do with the number of liters, and heating oil is projected to sell for $1.75 per liter. The company needs to determine the daily combination of gas and heating oil that must be produced to maximize revenue, create a model to represent this situation. So the last thing is, what they're trying to do is maximize revenue. So within this solution region is a combination that would maximize revenue. We'll look at this more closely later on, but I will tell you right now that this point right here, where they're producing 6 million liters of gasoline and 3 million liters of heating oil. That will be their maximum revenue. But all we're looking at right now is just what that function would be. So what would their revenue be? Their revenue is equal to, as you can see, $1.10 per liter of gas plus $1.75 per liter of heating oil. So their objective function, that's what this is called, uh, would be revenue is $1.10 per liter of gas. I should just use uh, letters here. Plus $1.75 per liter of heating oil. That's the revenue function or the objective function that they're trying to maximize.